everyone this is Chris and welcome to my new channel Dolls, Tar <laughs> Dolls Tarot and Tea and in the first of the series I'm going to be introducing some of my dolls for you and then as I introduce the dolls we I'm hoping to be able to get into some spirit messages uh, using the EMF meter and some tarot cards just to get into the doll's story to see what might be happening so Today I've set up tea here with my one of my newest dolls. I've only had her for a week and this is Phoebe. Phoebe is a celluloid doll. She's 55 centimetres and she was made by uh, Palitoy in the 1930s. So she's already 90 years old. She's beautiful. She is... When I've tried to find her online, she's many times referred to as a Princess Elizabeth doll. Um, there were quite a few made in the 1930s of Queen Elizabeth and marketed as such. But I can't find very much about this doll herself and or much about Palatoy um, Doll Company. So, But this is um, Phoebe. Now I bought Phoebe say a week ago and I was watching um, the Haunted Doll House actually and uh, the hostess, hostess of the Haunted Doll House is Karina and she also has an Etsy store and she had a Princess Elizabeth doll and I thought hang on a minute I've seen one of these dolls for sale on Facebook um, marketplace so I toddled on over there. I had her on my saved list and I toddled over there. She was still for sale. She had been for sale for five weeks actually. So I thought oh, I would um, try and snap her up. So I did for a very reasonable price. So I bought her. And while I was watching Karina's channel, The Haunted Doll House, she was having a conversation with her doll. Um, trying to uh, work out what her name is and she was communicating with her doll and during the communication there were many many orbs floating around her doll and at one time I heard the, the a very faint whisper saying Phoebe Phoebe over and over again for about a minute or two and at first I thought Phoebe was indeed the name of her doll but then now I have my doll here I'm realizing that her doll was actually telling me the name of my doll <laughs> if that makes sense so this is Phoebe and as I mentioned she's a celluloid doll 55 centimeters which is about 22 inches um, in the old scale and celluloid actually is the first um, synthetic plastic ever made and it was developed in the 1860s and 1870s and celluloid dolls um, are made from cellulose nitrate alcohol and fillers of um, fillers and camphor pigments and in the early dolls uh, the celluloid material was rather fragile and in around 1908 the material improved and it was more durable now I'm assuming again okay, if she is a Princess Elizabeth doll she was made in the 1930s and she has a marking on the back Palatoy and 55 num number 55 which I'm assuming is her height which it is now she's very very um, light she's actually uh, so light she doesn't register on the scales so um, that tells you how light she is indeed. She's very flammable. Um, celluloid dolls are quite flammable and they were actually banned in the USA in the 40s. Um, they were outlawed actually uh, because of the flammability and um, the, the way that you, these dolls would just explode sometimes when exposed to um, heat. Or flame and as you can see with little Phoebe uh, she's had a met meltdown or two in her day so she's um, has had some heat damage um, 
but that's okay um, I'm not keeping her in the heat I'm not keeping her in a window for example she's um, in my uh, room in her um, special place um, but she has had some heat damage now she's not my first celluloid doll I do have a smaller one and I will introduce you to him at a later stage but I'd like you to meet Phoebe she's quite a beautiful doll as you can see she's her painted features um, she's um, her arms are bendable her legs are poseable her head moves um, as you can see it can move from side to side back and forth but I don't do that very often she just stays in the one position so a celluloid doll and this little outfit I think suits her quite well and I bought that from my local op shop the little cardigan cost one dollar and the little dress two dollars so and the little pair of underwear I'm not going to show you those I don't want to disrespect Phoebe and uh, they cost me 50 cents so the whole outfit was less than three dollars fifty so that's quite good now Karina has this doll as I said um, and I'm sure her doll was indicating to me that this doll is named Phoebe now Pella Toy was a British toy company um, and it's also under the name Car Casaloid Company and was founded by Alfred Edward Pallet in Colville, Lycashire in 1919. And they would produce fancy goods and the first toy was in 1920 and the first doll in 1925. Casaloid was bought in 1931 by British Zylonite at the end the word palatoy was created as a trademark in 1935 and I'm not too sure so I can't find very much information about Phoebe so if you can find some extra information that would be fantastic um, she has a very gentle energy very gentle I just love her and we're having a tea party today so I'm going to have a tea party with all of my dolls when I introduce them to you and um, I've got some other little celluloid dolls in the doll house and you can see them sitting up there on the bed um, they are celluloid too they are German celluloid um, dolls and they sit out here in the doll house and I'll be doing some dollhouse readings um, for you on this channel so if you want to participate in those I will be doing some readings once I finish the um, cemetery and I'll be starting on readings and trying to communicate with my dolls so if you'd like to participate in that and join me whenever I'm on this channel please free feel to subscribe and I hope to see you soon and to have more conversations with my dolls and each time I'll introduce a new doll to you and then after that um, I'll try and communicate with my dolls or do a haunted doll house reading for you including a cemetery reading as well so there we go tea and a chat so thank you very much for joining me in this first video it was just an introduction really I'm hoping to um, advance a bit further along and I'll leave you Karina's link with the Haunted Dollhouse on YouTube and on Etsy she actually is quite famous for her dolls and she's been interviewed several times about how many dolls she has in her collection so I'll leave a link for one of those as well and she's quite well known in the paranormal um, sector so she might have some interesting stories to tell on her channel as well so thank you very much and um, until next time so many blessings